What's up everybody, welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna talk about what makes the SWAT X1 one of the most accurate crossbows on the market today. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, what makes the SWAT X1 so special is Killer Instinct's AccuTac barrel system. So instead of a rail like you would see on a traditional crossbow, this bow has a 360 degree enclosed barrel. And what that barrel does is it basically eliminates bolt oscillation or what some might call Archer's Paradox. And what was really cool, earlier in the week, KI released a video on their YouTube channel that showed a traditional rail style crossbow and the SWAT X1 both shooting the exact same KI Hyperbolt and they filmed it using a high speed camera to capture bolt oscillation. So what you can see in this video is that the traditional rail style crossbow when that bolt leaves that bow there is quite a bit of oscillation or it's very obvious that that bolt is wiggling through the air and that is very common with traditional rail style crossbows very common with compound bows and compound bow arrows but again what makes the x1 special and what you can see in this video is when that exact same hyper bolt is shot out of the swat x1 there is virtually no oscillation i mean it is significantly reduced it looks really cool it is flying almost perfect i can barely see a little wiggle but it's really hard to see it and that is what we're going to try to show you guys today is how this barrel system translates to downrange accuracy all right guys unfortunately i don't have a high speed camera to duplicate that video but i do have an x1 i've got a bog death grip so we're going to shoot using that to mitigate as much human error on my part as possible Got an open rail style crossbow or traditional crossbow. This is a PSE Invictus, really solid bow. I've had it for probably four years or so. It's, I don't know if you can still find specs on it. They don't make it anymore, but the Sight Hunt Vindicate is essentially the exact same bow. And what we're gonna do with both this bow as well as the X1, we're gonna shoot a brand new box of KI Hyperbolt. So 100 grain field points, so 390 grains total. We're gonna pull three out of this box and we're gonna shoot the PSE first and then we're gonna shoot the SWAT X1. I've got a couple paper targets here with three inch circles on them. I'm gonna go put these out at 60 yards. That's about as far as I can get from that spot in my yard, but that should be a really good indicator bow to bow. So again, we're gonna shoot the PSE first, three bolts. We're gonna take those same bolts, then shoot them with the X1. And we're gonna compare the two three shot groups. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna set my phone by the target so you guys can see impacts. Um, you're not gonna be able to see them from where I'm shooting with my phone here. And just to be perfectly transparent, both of those bows are sighted in to shoot a heavier bolt. I usually shoot like 500 to 530 grain bolts out of those. So I might be a little off what I'm gonna do on both of them just so they're equal. I'm gonna shoot the 50 yard dot on each bow at 60 yards. They should be pretty close, uh, but I might not be right on the bullseye. But what we're really looking for again is grouping. All right, guys, it's getting a little gusty, but I think we got to try it. Let's move to 100 yards. So I'm going to shoot the same three hyper bolts. I'm going to put my phone at the target again, but I'm going to grab my wife's phone and I'm going to film where I'm shooting from just so there's zero speculation that these are actually 100 yard shots. Also, you guys, I went ahead and made a couple scope adjustments. We'll see what 100 looks like. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the setup. I'm up here in my front driveway. That's what I needed to get 100 yards. I don't know if you guys can see it out there. There they are. All right, guys, here we go. First shot at 100. Sweet. All right, that first one was actually right in the circle. So let's see what, uh, what number two does here. All right, that one's just a little bit lower, but it's, 
it's pretty good left to right. This is tough. I'm trying to like feel on me. I'm trying to not like listen to this tree up here because what that tree is sounding like versus what I'm feeling versus what I'm seeing downrange is all completely different. So what I'm trying to do, I guess, I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm trying to squeeze them off as far as like the, the least amount that I feel on me and and the least amount that I see downrange with like the leaves and stuff moving. So that one felt good too, uh, just a little bit lower. So on to number three. All right, I don't exactly know where that one went. Um, it definitely hit the bag, but I don't think it's on the paper. I can't tell if, let's go check them out. All right guys, let's go check these out. And then we're gonna take each piece of paper, the uh, PSE at 60, X1 at 60, and then X1 at 100. And we're gonna measure the group size here with a pair of calipers and just see how we did. All right, you guys, check them out. 100 yard group out of the SWAT X1 with stock hyper bolts, 100 grain field tips. That is pretty impressive if you ask me. And one thing to note, check this out. I mean, look at how lined up those bolts are. I mean, up, down, left, right, even with this breeze, these things are lined up nice and parallel, both up, down, left, and right. I guess that one on the bottom maybe is just tilted up a little bit more than the other two, but dang, that is, pretty sweet and that group looks really close to the PSE at 60 yards I think it's just a little bigger but we'll see let's go measure them up all right guys the PSE at 60 yards the farthest two bolts apart were 3.036 center to center the SWAT X1 at 60 yards the same three bolts this was really tough uh, the distance between these two and these two was very close but the one I'm measuring right here is a little bit farther, 1.5965 for the X1 at 60 yards. And finally, you guys, the X1, same three bolts at 100 yards, 3.1865 was the group for that one, 3.1865. All right, you guys, as we look at all these side by side here, there's a couple things that I noticed that I wanted to note for you. First one, at 60 yards, the X1 versus the PSE with the exact same bolts, the X1 basically cut the group size in half, PSE with the traditional rail style versus the AccuTac barrel system on the X1. So that is absolutely awesome. Another thing to note, the X1 at 100 yards with the wind picking up even more, uh, basically shot the same group size, just a smidge bigger than the PSE at 60 yards. So the X1 at 100, pretty much match the PSE at 60. And then the last thing to know, and I apologize you guys, I pulled these bolts before I got this footage, but I think you can see it on the 100 yard uh, grouping versus the PSE at 60. The PSE at 60, it had one bolt that was kind of just cocked sideways just a little bit, even though it was still, you know, a nice group at 60 yards, there's one bolt that was just out of alignment versus the other two. The X1 at 60, were all lined up really nice, but I apologize again. I pulled them before I got this footage. But when you looked at the X1 at 100 yards, even with the wind picking up, all of these bolts were very much lined up left, right, up and down. That just goes to show you that that AccuTac barrel system with how well it stabilizes bolts, it showed in the 100 yard target of the X1 versus the PSE at 60 yards, shooting again, the exact same bolts. All right, you guys, there you go. The proof is in the pudding. Between KI's high-speed camera video, as well as our shooting today, the SWAT X1 with its AccuTac barrel system offers superior accuracy. And I guarantee you, there's accuracy to be gained versus what you saw today. That is a stock X1. Stock optics, that's a Lumix speed ring scope. Shooting out of the box, KI hyperbolts. I guarantee you, with some upgraded tuned bolts, that three inch group at 100 yards in windy conditions, that can definitely be trimmed down. And that will be a video for another time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell for notifications. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.